Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matolo, and we here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content, and we're gonna get straight into the video. Right now guys, this video is all about add-on tiers. I've got a message from you guys that you guys want me to do an add-on tiers tutorial for you guys. So I will do that guys, okay? But guys, make sure you guys do listen, okay? Because uh, I'm not going to repeat myself. I have been making multiple videos about add-on tiers, so make sure you guys do listen. So all you guys got to do is download all the requirements inside my description below make sure that they are all updated because some of the mods has been updated okay guys so once you guys have completed that all you guys gotta do is download the add-on tiers mod i will leave this inside my description below so make sure you guys do download it once you guys complete all you guys gotta do is go and hover over your grand theft auto v game right click and then open file location as you guys can see, this is a brand spanking new folder. So we are going to install our uh, requirements. Except there's a mod folder there because I just put it there. So guys, all you guys gotta do, okay, is make sure you guys install all the requirements and make sure that they are all updated. So all you guys gotta do is, okay, is go to your Scripthook V extract folder, open up your extract folder, Go to your bin folder and make sure you select input 8.dll and scripthook v.dll and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. An application will pop up. All you gotta do is just push replace. And now we guys we're gonna go into our scripthook v.net extract folder and then select scripthook v.net.asi.dll and .xml drag three files inside your ggav main directory now we are going to install our trainers open up your trainer v extract folder and now select trainer v.asi and .ini drag both files inside your ggav main directory now open up your menu extract folder and then now select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your ggav main directory now guys all you gotta do is right click on your grand theft auto v main folder and refresh the folder and now do that again right click and then now create a new folder name that folder scripts once you guys complete it, all you gotta do is press enter once and then press enter again. Now we are going to install our native UI. Make sure that the native UI is the latest version. Open up your native UI extract folder, then select native UI.dll file and then drag it inside your scripts folder. And now guys that's all we've got to do now and make sure you guys install all of the latest script hook v's and stuff like that guys too so once you guys uh, have finished with that all you guys got to do next is open up your add-on pins extract folder and then now we are going to install all of our mods guys so the next thing we got to do guys is go to your drc packs folder inside your extract folder now we are going to install our add-on pairs folder. Go back to your main directory and now go to your mods folder inside your GTAV folder. Go to updates, go to time 64, go to DLC packs and now guys all you got to do is click on your add-on pairs folder inside your extract folder and now drag it inside your DLC packs. Now go, go inside your add-on pins folder guys and check to see if there's a drc.rpf file in there and yes there is. Go back to your GTA V main directory and then now go back to your main file 
on your extract folder now guys the thing we are going to do now is we're going to skip the scripts okay because this page selector.dll is corrupted so guys do not install this okay just only skip it okay guys now the next thing we are going to do guys is we're going to install the add-on page editor.exe and add on pedsvars.xml select your files guys select both files and then now drag it inside your gtav main directory now guys the next thing we are going to do okay is open up your readme.html and now it will come up as our website just go down a little bit guys and you'll see this okay copy this guys and all you got to do is just copy the code right click and copy and that is it out of there guys now once you guys finish okay all you gotta do is just exit out of your extract folder now guys go inside to my downloads and download the p selector okay open up your p selector extract folder and then now just drag it towards the side a bit guys and then now open up the p selector folder inside the extract folder now go to your scripts folder guys and open up your scripts folder inside your gtv main directory now the thing guys we are going to do is select pseudselector.dll file and then drag it inside your scripts folder that's all you guys gotta do okay and then go back to your, your main directory right click and refresh and now quit out of your folder and then that quits out of this folder guys and now all we're gonna do now guys is open up your open iv and then go to your grand theft auto v windows this will take a few seconds to load once this comes up guys all you gotta do is click on edit mode and click yes and then now go to your mods folder go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data scroll right down the bottom guys and then go to your DRC list.xml right click and edit it then all you guys got to do now is just scroll right down the bottom guys and then now it says MP Christmas 2018 click on the side press enter once and then paste your code in there guys the next thing we're going to do now is to save our code go back to your DRC list.xml file double click and check to see your if your add-on page is in there and yes it is quit out of there click on edit mode click on gtv now click out of your open iv guys and now we are going to go and check to see if the add-on page work right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game and now work guys we are back again so all we're going to do guys is that we're going to make this quick and easy and fast so guys to open up your add-on page menu all you got to do is press the L your L key so here we go guys in 5 4 3 2 1 Kapoya C guys it does work okay so guys it does work the L button um, yeah so if you guys are looking for our add-on page tutorial this is the right place to be so, so yeah guys um so guys I hope you guys do enjoy it so yeah Let's do it again. Press your L button, and now it does work, guys. See? So yes, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy it. So guys, that is it for now. So if you guys have any questions, okay, then please let me know in the comments. And if you guys are still stuck with this mod, then let me know in the comments, okay, guys. So make sure you guys download and install all the requirements, okay. And make sure you go inside my downloads and download the, the new paired selector key okay, guys so make sure you guys do that and yes guys with that all said i hope you guys do enjoy your day and if you guys are new here subscribe for more daily gaming content and if you guys do like this video smash that like button and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching guys peace and i'm out